Smokeofficial.com. That is where you're going to get your dope merchandise. You guys see right here, man. Free smoke shirts. We got hoodies. We got pants. All that available for you as available for you as well. On freesmokeofficial.com. We got all kinds of different sizes, colors, everything available for y'all. So make sure you guys go on there, check it out. You know what I'm saying? And go ahead and uh, you know what I'm saying, shop, shop till you drop, you know what I'm saying, as they say. You know, so we would greatly appreciate that. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it, man. We just talked about CGR 32s in the last video. And of course, we got to talk about him again because when I talk about going against the grain, he is the epitome of, of doing such. Going against the grain. And of course, man, this is no different, man. As y'all know, man, not too long ago, a couple of weeks, uh, about a week or so ago, he, he went out and bought a Dodge Demon. Now, what did he do with that Dodge Demon? And his, his, his IG post had it for super fun. He was like, what you thought? I was going to put some <laughs> sticky Mickey's on this thing and go to the track. You mm. must be out your mind. He said, I'm going to mm. put on some 32s on this joint and ride out, man. So, CJ 32s, man, mount up a Dodge Demon on the 32. You can see that these decal came off as well. What you think about that, Rose? Um, actually, you know, you know, CJ, he has a way with words, you know, uh, when he's <laughs> doing his titles and stuff like that. And it's very creative. It's very, you know, in the YouTube world. Applicable, right. you know, um, but of course, you know, uh, to the naked eye, you guys can see that these are not 32s not, not right 32s. here or whatnot. They are the uh, 24s and um, the ones that came off of the. Um, I don't even think 32s even fit on it. On a, on a, what's now it? you, you have to you have to cut it up. Yeah. Right, um, right, right. But these are the ones that came off of the Daytona um, Hellcat. Um, and, you know, he was basically uh, doing a test fit. But me looking at this, I'm like test fit complete because to me that's like a it. clean look right there bro I that's like it very clean man the the uh the brush face chrome lips um and it just because i think with the going with a black wheel it, it might just you know kind of take away from it a little bit that to me that right there is hitting you know just looking at that i'm like man I, i'll rock with that for a minute if i if i'm not riding on you know, factory, uh, the factory demon setup, but man, that's and that's, you seen the way, I, 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 and if you seen like his IG, not to cut you off, but you seen like his eye, like when he was actually like doing, you know, what I'm saying like burning out, doing whatever, yeah, like, that that red on that brushed looks yes. phenomenal, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying, big time, big time, man. So, um, you know, hey, maybe he may think about it and and look at it for a couple of days, you know, and look back on the videos and stuff like that. He may change his mind, but you know, um, I think you know he mentioned that uh, Demon's going to paint, you know, Demon's going to PC. So uh, we're gonna see what he comes up with, you know. And who knows? Like a lot of times, like you know, with the the, uh, the uh, red eye challenger that he got, you know, it was originally white, but he just gave it a better white, you know, that did some color flip and stuff right, like right, that. Right. So. Who knows what, what direction he's gonna go, man? But it's just you know, only time will tell, man. But you know, definitely looking forward to see uh, the uh, the direction that he goes with this uh, Dodge team. Um, yeah, exactly, man. Um, you know, I've always liked that brush look, man. You know, the brush yeah. wheels to me with that chrome lip just looks so crazy. Clean. To me, it just makes it just makes the car look so clean. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying like, like, literally, just makes the car look clean, man. So, yes, sir. I, I love that look, man. But we'll see what he comes up with. Um, and by the way, for y'all people that might be talking 
like, you know, whatever. Yes, I know they want 32s as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, all right. 32s are on his TRX, so you can see the difference. You know what I'm saying? Come on, y'all. So, y'all know y'all already know better, man. You know, because you can have somebody in there. I, as but, soon as you said that, yeah, they, they got hot right in the comments. Ah, oh, those are 32s. You don't know what 32s is, and blah, blah, blah. I mean, I mean, like I said, 32s on the car, they literally like in the air. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The car is in the air. But Absolutely. anyway, uh, but with that being said, um, yeah, man, I, 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 I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a. Like I said, I, I, I'm going to stay tuned, man, and see what he does with this. Because, again, we just talked about it. You know, a demon just like that, they tell him, hell, can he have his worth? Some money. Yeah, um, you know, so, and it's only going to, I think that's one of the few Dodge products that will appreciate rather than depreciate. Depreciate. You know, mm-hmm. right. Uh, so, it, it's interesting to see what route he's going to go, man, what he's going to do, how crazy he's going to go with it. You know what I'm saying? And um, because, you know, and, and not I don't know if he really cares or not, but. And 20 years from now, when you know, if he's trying to get rid of this, you know, you're gonna have them old, you know, them old crusty white guys, they're not they're not gonna want all that. They're gonna be like, Oh, uh, you ruined the demon, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, I, feel you. I don't know, man. But again, it's, it's it, I don't even know if he really even cares about that, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the not his beautiful target. thing, audience. like I always say, right. it's his car, <laughs> you know. So it's his car, whatever he chooses 100%. to do, you know. That's always that's always gonna be the fact. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so, sir. Yeah, man. So so it, it's it, it'll be dope just to see what he's gonna do with it, man. And you know, where he's gonna go with it. So you know what I'm saying? It, it, is it gonna be the first fully custom Dodge Demon? You know what I'm saying? That we've seen like that. You know what I'm saying? So who knows, man? Uh, but it it, it, it it will be refreshing because again, it's sure he says. Just like I said in that caption, you thought was gonna put some sticky niggas and go to the track because it doesn't exactly. what everybody does. That's he's what everybody does. Yeah, he's not a racer, but, though, so right. But everybody gets a demon, or whoever has a demon, what do you see him at? You see him at the track. Either 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 they're garage queens because they're trying to preserve them, yeah, or they're at the track, or they're at the track. There's no in between. You know what right. I'm saying? So it'll be dope to see what he does with Now, with that being said, man, let's go to move on to the next topic we got for y'all, man. And uh, <laughs> moving back over to the entertainment yes. boxing side of things, right? Let's, let, let's make sure let's not get that twisted. Entertainment side of boxing. We had another one, man. This was, uh, we just talked about the Jake Paul and Woodley fight. Well, one of the undercards on that fight, man, was a former former NBA player in the name of Darren Williams going against a former NFL player by the name of Frank Gore. Now, this was a. If y'all didn't see it, man, I, I, I'm <laughs> sure this is on YouTube somewhere. Oh, yeah. Go on and watch this fight. This is by far to me was the most entertaining fight of the night of the evening. You know what I'm saying? Um, not the best fight, the most entertaining fight. Key <laughs> you word. know what I'm saying? There's a difference. There's a, there's a difference. But this is the one that we I've had the most fun watching. And when it comes down to entertainment, this one stole the show, man. Rose, what you think about it? Uh, man, I'm gonna tell you though, bro. Like, if just going based off of names and their careers, and they said, "Hey, I'm gonna give you a million dollars to bet," I would have lost all my money because I would have <laughs> bet on Frank Gore, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm thinking a NFL piece. player, stocky running back. You know, I'm like. I'm I'm gonna put my money on on Frank Gore, man. I I would I would have lost all the money, brother. Um, you know, <laughs> that's a funny moment. So uh, Frank Gore got a couple memes going on out there already. Uh, oh my face, god! He said, "Man, when he seen uh, uh, Darren was letting them hands go, the expression that he had on his face, bro." I bro, could not, it, was know, bro, it was literally like he was like, bro, what are you doing? Yeah, like, he's like, hey, this is fake, me. bro. Yeah, you're not supposed <laughs> to hit me. <laughs> yeah, like, what are you doing, guy? You're not supposed <laughs> to hit me that hard. So, you know, that's something else that made me really think about this whole thing when that happened, man. It's like he was giving me, yeah. like, bro, like, you're not supposed yeah. to hit me that hard, you know? So, bro, um, it was but, so hilarious, man, bro. I hey, was dying laughing, bro. Hey, the NBA won this one, man. Uh, Darren put them hands on, he put them paws on the man. And I uh, seen him, he was in the ropes. Uh, of course, I seen a little push to help him go into the ropes, you know. Um, but like oh, you right. said, this was a good entertaining boxing match or whatnot, man. Uh, these guys out here, but 
Darren, he said something smart. He said, you know what? I'm about to go sit my own tail down, man. He's like, this ain't yes. for me. Smart, smart yes. move. You know, smart move. Um, you know, uh, I like to see like when they do like the charity. Like, I wish these guys were taking a huge portion and giving it to charity from these entertaining mm. fights like this and stuff like that, you know. But uh, it's just my opinion. But yeah, man. So it, like I said, I would have lost my money if I, I, I was sure sure enough would have bet on Frank Gore, man. Lost all my money, bro. Hey, that's it. Hilarious fight, hilarious yes. uh, match. Um, yeah, I'm with you, man. I probably, you know, tell a tape, just watching it black and white, I probably throw money in on Frank Gore as well. But, uh, yeah. you know, I don't know, man. Darren Willis came out, man. You know, Darren got, he got some hands on him, you know what I'm saying? Like, for, yeah. not, being a, for not being a professional fighter. Absolutely. Um, and like I said, man, when he was tagging Frank, bro, Frank, bro, his eyes. Bruh. Bro, when yeah, I say exactly. I was I was hysterically laughing because they kept throwing this, the, the, you know, seeing it real time was like one thing, but they kept putting that slow mo up. They kept bro, putting that slow mo. That was, bro, was killing like, me, bro. Like, bro, you could just see the whole. He, you could just see all the thought process in his eyes, in his face. When he was like, "Bro, like, we are not supposed to be going this hard. Like, why are you hitting me like this?" Bro, that was oh, the telltale for me right there. That was the telltale for me right there, bro. It was like, you know, you, you oh, going off God. script, bro. Or, you know. Like, <laughs> you going off script. This is supposed to be, hey, look, you were supposed to hit you with two jabs, and I was supposed to bob and weave. <laughs> so you said you going off script, bro. Like, what you doing? Yeah, yeah, you going off was, script. Was hey, listen, I was yeah. laughing, bro. I was dying. But listen, Absolutely. man, most entertaining fight of the evening, man, for sure. Darren Williams, like I said, man, he's they asked him, you know, what you thought about. It. He said, man, I'm gonna go sit my old, yeah. uh, my yeah. dumb old tail down. Yes, he said that. You know what I'm exactly. saying? He was, and it was like that's it. He was like, bro, one and done. Don't ever one act like this again. He's like, I'm never doing this again. He was, they was like, why? He was like, look, it was a bucket list thing. Mm. I did it. I check it off. I'm never doing this again. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so man, that, that the, the whole thing was entertaining, man, from the beginning to the end. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, man, super, super, super entertaining, man. So if you haven't watched it, go back and watch this, man. You'll have a good time, man. If you ever need, yeah. if you ever feeling down and out, you, you, you need to pick me up, man. You just need to laugh about something. Yeah. Literally, throw yeah. this on YouTube, man, and just watch it from the That's beginning it. all the way down to the to the post uh, post fight interview in the ring. Hilarious. Huh? Darren Williams, man, came out the victor in the NBA one, man. The NBA one, uh, uh, you know, NBA beat the NFL. Yes, sir. You know, I'm wondering if, 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 if that's going to actually start being a thing. Um, hey, never you know, know. And if, because because I think um, you know, Ocho Cinco went against he went against somebody. It wasn't, a, but it wasn't another athlete, another like pro athlete. I don't think like basketball player, or whatever. Yeah. Um, so I wonder if they're going to actually start, you know, or during these entertaining. You know Jake Paul fights, or even what's his brother Logan Paul during these fights? Are, are they gonna, you know, is hey NBA versus NFL, NFL versus uh, you know, uh, uh, baseball, whatever, or hockey? You know, imagine yeah, like an old hockey possible. player, everybody go what? Hey, listen, a, a, a retired hockey player, hey. listen, everybody gonna want to see that because you know you that, that right. that's what the sport. A, a lot of us, uh, you know, the sports is known that sport is known for them throwing hands randomly. In the yeah. middle, in the middle of the, in the middle of the, uh, the match. So when you got an old hockey player, man, like, oh, yeah, this guy play hockey. Everybody gonna want to be like, oh, I want to see what this guy gonna do when it's actually like, you know, yeah. put the gloves on and go at it. So yes, sir. you know what I'm saying? And, and anyway, man. So that's just that's just random thoughts here and there. But hey, <laughs> it, entertainment, 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 man. And that's all it is. Rel said that um, in our first, you know, our video last time. He said that that's all this is, man. And um, at the end of the day, um, that's what they delivered, man. Derry Wood is a Frank Gore. They delivered that 100%. Yes, sir. Now, Rails, what we got for announcers, bro? Hey, man, coming up April 9th, 2022, man, we got the next big showdown going on at the Texas, Texas Motorplex in Dallas, Texas. You talking about Dunk Master and Demonology going to slug it out again. Once we get the official flyer, we can drop it right here on Free Smoke First. Uh, also, keep your ears to the streets. Stay, stay in tune with us because the next Gap Fest is being scheduled as well. Everything is TBD right now. But once we get the info, 
we're gonna lock in with you and make sure you got it but you gotta lock in with us by hitting that subscribe button also turn the post notifications to all yes sir man so that way you don't miss anything by the way this sunday we do got a show coming up for y'all so make sure y'all stay tuned we do have a show coming for y'all this sunday also make sure you guys share all these videos with all your friends and your family you since we can get as many eyeballs as possible and as you guys see right there man you are watching free smoke the banner right there. i'm reading the banner watch a free smoke man like comment subscribe share and of course the cash app is there dollar sign free smoke official man get your free smoke apparel at free smoke official.com and listen man if you want to if you want to donate to the channel obviously you could you know uh you know the best thing would be to go buy some free smoke apparel you know what i'm saying but if not man if you just want to uh donate to the channel man you got the cash app right there free smoke official man at the cash app and i asked you to but you know at the end of the day um if if you feel the need to that's where you could do it you know what i'm saying appreciate that that's all we got for y'all today yo bless up to everyone out there big time salute and shout out to the free smoke squad if you don't know you are watching free smoke and we do this for the culture we out of here later